Hey you guys, it's Jessica and today we're doing our very first DIY project. So if you would like to see how we created this apricot curling custard, keep watching. I've partnered with Curl Mix. They are the first DIY subscription box for curly hair and they make DIY for your hair super easy. They send you all natural ingredients to mix your own hair products plus you receive new recipes every month. So since Mother's Day is right around the corner, I'm gonna be mixing my curl mix with my little cutie Kai. So here's a quick overview of what's in the box, which is enough to make about 16 ounces of the apricot curling custard. You have one ounce of glycerin, one tablespoon of the xanthan gum, which adds slip to the product, two ounces of olive oil gel, one bag with one tablespoon of beeswax, and one tablespoon of emulsifying wax one wooden spatula, 16 ounce mason jar with four ounces of shea butter and two ounces of coconut oil, one ounce of apricot oil and 10 drops of apricot and peach fragrance. So you're getting high quality ingredients in this curl mix and everything you need is in the mix so you won't waste any of the product. You'll also receive a personal letter from me inside of your box with links to the directions and ingredient information. Now it's time to make our curling custard. In a medium sized pot, fill two thirds of the way with water. Turn the stove on medium heat. Remove the lid from the jar and place the entire mason jar containing the shea butter and coconut oil into the pot. Now add the glycerin, apricot oil, beeswax, and emulsifying wax to the jar. You're gonna let all of these ingredients melt down to a complete liquid even little pieces of wax, make sure all of that is melted. So this shouldn't take more than 10 minutes or so. And you wanna ensure that it's not boiling out of control. You wanna maintain a medium heat and a low boil. Once completely liquefied, you're gonna remove the jar from the pot and place on the counter. Now you're gonna pour in two ounces of olive oil gel using the wooden spatula to stir very well. Now you're gonna gradually sprinkle the xanthan gum into the jar, stirring with every little bit of the powder that falls into the jar. Now, if you dump all of the xanthan gum at once, it will clump on you, so stir gradually. Now you're gonna add half a cup of water to the mixture and stir. Once you've added all the ingredients, shake well and refrigerate for one hour. The curling custard should have a nice creamy finish. Because this product contains aloe vera gel, you'll have to refrigerate it but it will last you for about one to two months. So before applying your product, I've already washed and conditioned my hair. For those days that you don't have time to do a twist out, you just have to really just get up and go, but you want a little bit of definition, I'm gonna show you how to create that with this curling custard. I'm gonna take sections of my hair and apply the curling custard from the roots to tips. After I work the custard through, I'm going to twist my hair this product makes my hair feel extremely soft and I cannot get over how good it smells. Oh my God. I'm going to continue this process throughout the remaining of sections that I have left. Then I'm going to apply a um, small perm wrap to the ends of my hair. This will just give you added definition, especially if you're in a rush. Now to set the hair, I'm going to put, I'm going to grab my blow dryer and I'm going to blow dry my hair on medium heat just to allow the heat to kind of set my hair since I'm not doing an overnight twist out. This will just give me a little bit of definition so that it doesn't look extremely poofy, but it has a little bit of curl definition to it. Now I'm going to take down the twist and I'm going to make sure to separate it. I don't mind frizz. I actually love frizz. So the more frizz for me, the better. But I just love those really nice curls that you can see kind of peeking through the frizz. Now I'm gonna take bobby pins and pin my hair up to the top. This is a great way to kind of create an updo, especially if you're in a hurry. All right, and here are the final results. Now I'm gonna continue the same process on Kai. She's starting on freshly washed hair. I'm gonna use the curling custard on each section, working it through, and then twisting her hair, adding perm rods to the ends. I'm also setting her hair with the blow dryer to give her slight definition. Now we're gonna take down the twist, and as you can see, it's not 
And as you can see, her hair isn't super defined, but it is extremely soft. We're gonna take some bobby pins and also pin her hair up to the top. And I love this style because it's a quick and easy way for you and your daughter to rock the same hairstyle, but you only have a couple of minutes to do it, so you save time. I had so much fun creating this curling custard. This was my first time doing any type of DIY project, so I had fun doing it. Curl Mix literally allows you to see the ingredients that are in your products. No guessing what's in it because you made it. It saves you the headache of researching, shopping, mixing. It basically does all the work for you. I feel like any curly girl can benefit from this box and the subscription is only $25. Get this curl mix by visiting www.curlmix.com. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and if you enjoyed it, give us a thumbs up. Make sure to check the link down below to get your curl mix and we'll see you next time. Bye.